woman to lust after her had committed adultery with her already in his heart. Who is this? I, Jesus. Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Performance. Today I'm here with a guest. Coco is my name. Wow. And we'll be reacting to a mind blowing reaction. I've watched the video, but I also want to hear a view on this particular topic. And we'll be reacting to the difference between the Bible and the Quran by Ahmed Adidas. Wow. So, as you know, we are Christians, we are not Muslims, but I believe one thing is common to both Christianity and Islam, you know, that's the message of truth, the message of love, the message of forgiveness. So, I believe if we can be able to learn from each other, we'll be able to make better decisions on the religion that have been presented to us. So, let's start with the video. Yesterday you proved that the Bible was not the word of God. How could you now quote the Bible to predict the coming of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Please explain. The Bible is not the word of God. Was a, debate. <laughs> a format had been laid out. Originally it was 50 minutes, 60 minutes, and 10. Both sides had 60-60. But the format was, whoever speaks first has 10 minutes at the end. Because every advantage has a disadvantage. So both speakers speak 60 minutes each. Okay. Now, with that format, you have no time to explain each and every position. So what is the Bible? So what do we consider the Bible to be? As a whole, per se, we say, this is not the book of God. And I proved it. <laughs> according to all reasoning, according to the book itself, the internal evidence that Moses didn't write the books attributed to him, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John didn't write the books attributed to them. Not only is it not the book of God, but it's not even the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. <laughs> You're talking about 24,000 manuscripts. I challenge it says there's no two are identical. So you've got 24,000 different Gospels. <laughs> you just picked to the pick that suited you, you accepted it. Who authorized you? Council of Nisi. They said, we take this, we take that, we take that. All the Gospels that are now accepted were not accepted at one time. It's mm. now pick and choose what suits you, you accept it. That's what you have done. And you say, now it's the Word of God. But now the Word of God is in it, in the book. The Word of okay. God, is, the word in of God the is in it. The Word of the Prophet is in the book. The Word of the Historian is in the book. And pornography is in the book. Pornography in the book. <laughs> I said, you see, I give you examples about the word of God. Like in the book of Deuteronomy. You see the verse I quoted in Arabic, the same thing is in the Bible. Almost an identical idea okay. is there. It reads, I will raise them up a prophet. I will raise them up a prophet from among the brethren like unto thee. And I will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Okay. So who is this I? God. He's speaking to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. That I will raise them up, a prophet, from among their brethren. From among the Bani Ismail. The Bani Israel are being addressed. Is that from among your brethren. Like unto thee, like you, like Musa. And, he okay. will, and I will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. So he says, this I is God. You don't have to be a theologian or a DD or an evangelist. Anybody will tell you on the plain reading of it that these are not the words of Moses, these are the words of God. Okay. Okay. Another quotation from the book of Isaiah. As if Seems you really God. understand the Bible. Remember the former things of old. <laughs> I am God sense. and there is none else. No, I am God and there is <laughs> none like me. Who's that? Isaiah? No Jew says that Isaiah claimed divinity. They would have killed him if he did. No, he's speaking on behalf of God. God is speaking through him like a mouthpiece. This is the job of a prophet of God. He yeah. is a mouthpiece of God. He hears the words of God and he conveys them to you. So, I, I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is no savior besides me. Who? God. God is talking. 
This is the word of God. You don't have to be a professor of theology to see that. There is another type of evidence in the Bible. See, now, if it was a lecture, I would have been, done all this last night, but this is a debate. So whatever the man is throwing at you, you can't start grappling with everything. The caravan is moving and the dogs start barking. You don't start the caravan moving back to chase the dogs. <laughs> You've got to move on. You've got to do your job and get, get on with it and finish your job. There was no occasion for explaining all these things to you. See? Then there is the prophet, word of the prophet of God. Example, Jesus says, it has been said by them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her, had committed adultery with her already in his heart. Mm. This is I, <laughs> Jesus. So these two contexts, one is God is speaking, this one, Again, is Jesus is speaking. Jesus says, it has been said by them of old time, that whosoever puts away his wife, let him give her a bill of divorcement. But I say unto you, who is this I? Jesus. Jesus. Words of a prophet of God. Again, Jesus says, it has been said by them of old time, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, who is this I? Jesus. Jesus. The words of a prophet of God. Then there is another type of evidence in the Bible. First was as if God speaking. Second was as if a prophet was speaking. Third, what does the historian, how does he speak? He says in the Gospel of St. Mark, so while he, talking about Jesus, in bracket, okay. about Jesus, while he was going forth into the way, he, Jesus, saw a fig tree in the distance with leaves. Happily, he came up to it, wanting to find figs thereon. But when he, Jesus, came, there was nothing but leaves, for the season was not yet. Who's writing? An eyewitness. Yes, Your witness, not God and not Jesus. So you see, another type of evidence. Okay. Word of God, word of the prophet, word of the word historian. Of historian. And there was that other type of thing. I was suggesting, and I lost $100. You remember, if you were there, I lost $100. <laughs> I wanted Brother Swaggart, you know, to read a certain chapter from the book, from the Bible. And he ignored it at first. Maybe he had no time. And somebody from the audience prodded him again. He says, you know, look, what about that chapter as a kill? And there was $100 also involved. So he read it. But he read it at 60, 60 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so one of your university students, while I'm sitting there, he comes to me. He said, look, he read. But uh, I didn't know. Uh, so what was the joke? I said, look, one thing is, you are at a disadvantage. You are an Arab from Arab country. You don't know English too well, number one. Number two, that the English that he was using were, uh, was archaic, old-fashioned, from the King James Version. You see, we had given him that pamphlet, which was in, from the new international version, modern language, where you call a spade a spade. But he was reading from that archaic Bible. I can't blame him for that because he uses that. King James. He read it. And you don't know English too well. That's also a disadvantage. And he was reading at that speed I told you just now. So these are all the facts. I said, look, what you do, you go and read it you know, in that pamphlet and you see what he was reading. So he read it. You know, bulk of the people, I'm sure, they didn't catch the joke. No, the speed, his pronunciation. He was not as emphatic when he quotes other biblical verses. You know, he makes every word and phrase to go down your throat or down your ears. But here was something different, 60 miles an hour. So, so <laughs> there is that type of thing, which I said, no decent man can read it to his mother, sister, daughter, or even his fiancée if she's a good woman. Now, what you have to do is you have to go and read it yourself to know what was read. You didn't catch the joke. It's no fault of mine. <laughs> you see, you don't understand English too well, and then you know the speed and the archaic language, all these things were factors where you don't catch the joke. See, but if you catch the joke, then you know something that no decent man can read in his church or to his family. Right? So this is it. There's another type of evidence. So we have the word of God in the Bible. There is the word of the prophet in the Bible. There's the word of the historian, so, yeah. the eyewitness or your witness in the Bible. And there is that other type which we say pornography in the Bible. <laughs> now, we also have such a thing in Islam. Okay. We have it's the word also of Islam. in the Quran. Okay. Only Allah's kalam. It doesn't tell you stories. 
We know an incident in the life of the Prophet ﷺ that a Christian deputation had come from Najran in Medina. These were Arab Christians. They had heard that another Arab, he is claiming that he's in communication with the Almighty. He's a prophet. So they said, let's go and cross-examine him. Let us go and see what he knows. So they came to Medina and they were housed in the Masjid the Nabawi. They ate there, they slept there, and they had a dialogue there for three days and perhaps three nights. And when Sunday came, our Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he offered the masjid to these Christians to offer their prayers. He was so broad-minded, not like us. See, some of us, we are, you know, we think our masjids are superior to the masjid and Nabawi that our Nabi had. No doubt, in construction, yes. He allowed them, but gave them permission to make their prayers. So during the course of this discussion, the spokesman for the Christian poses the question, among so many other things. Say, all right, now tell us, O Muhammad, what is your concept of God? And our Nabi Kareem, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he doesn't fumble. You know, well, you see, it's like this and like that. No, he doesn't do that. He is the God of Abraham, Moses, and David, and Solomon, you know, who spoke to Abraham. No, he doesn't talk like that. No, See, when the question is posed, what is your concept of God? So okay. the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as if he was pressing his spiritual buttons, mm -hmm. trying to contact Filawhim Mahfuz, the head computer. So, oh my Lord, what shall I say? Nobody heard that. There were no buttons to press. I said, as if, I hope you people understand that. Then when I go away, don't create a controversy. He said, Muhammad pressed buttons. You know, he had a computer. <laughs> I said, as if, oh my Lord, what shall I say? Comes the answer through him. Qul, say, huwa Allahu ahad. He is Allah the one and only. Allah samad, God the eternal absolute. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He does not beget and is not begotten. Wa lam yakun lahu kufan ahad. And there's nothing like unto him. Full stop. And you see, this is our concept of God. Now you see, he's on a different level. That's what they believe. Qul, say. He's it's asking, like the oh same. my Lord, what shall I say? Okay. Nobody heard him say that. But comes the answer, say! It doesn't fit into normal speech. They are asking, what is your concept of God? So you don't tell him, say. Somebody asks you, what is 12 times 12? What do you say? 144. Am I right? 6 times 6? 36. You don't say, say 36. Say 144. Do you say like that? No. no. <laughs> Why say? Because... The words are being put Think in his mouth. Really very intelligent. From, okay. love and mahfuz, from the preserved tablet, from the head computer. See, he's in contact, he's got that machine. Spiritual buttons. Yabari Ta'ala is communicating. What shall I say? He says, say, who Allah Now, that I say. Look, all these things that I told you is not in the Quran. In the Quran, you open Surah Ikhlas, chapter 112. You start. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Say is Allah the one and only. Allahu Samad. God the eternal absolute. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He does not beget and is not begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu. Kufu wa nahad. Begets is not begotten. It's very nice. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Where he was. What was the occasion? What? How did it come about? Nothing. So only the word of God. Everything else were the details given to us later on. They said, look, this is what happened. People who were eyewitnesses, your witnesses, what's happening. What our Nabi said, what happened. All that put together is our knowledge. You find the okay. other details in the books of Hadith. Words of the Prophet, separate volume. Okay. Allah's Kalam, separate volume. Separate. Hadith, words of the Prophet, separate volume. History, uh, Imam Ali, Ibn oh. Rush, Ibn Taymiyyah, Taymi oh. great oh. writers, great writers, separate books, separate books. Okay. And separate. our Arabian Nights, also separate books. <laughs> yes? I say that those things are also in Islam, but they have been kept in separate books. Oh, you know the Arabian Nights? Kept inside you know, the Quran. Oh, yeah. They are the for them. They're circulating around the campfire. You know, the Arabs also had something to pass time with. You know, pre-Islam, before Islam, and even maybe after Islam. You know, under Harun al-Rashid, Mamun al-Rashid, we don't know how the empire developed. And they were wanting to pass time, you know, somehow, light-heartedness. <laughs> ah, jokes, filthy, dirty stories. You stole around the campfire. Right? They're written now in books. Fitzgerald, he translated it, the Arabian Nights, the unexpurgated edition. I read it and I enjoyed it very much. Because I was a young boy. Oh, I loved it, you know. <laughs> the unexpurgated editions. But it's separate. It's not in the Quran. 
It's not in the works of the sayings of the prophet. It's not in the works of a historian. Separate book. So we have the words of God, word of the prophet, word of the historian, and pornography all in separate compartments. Oh, okay. So all, all, separate all in separate compartments. Okay. Look, not inside the Quran book. Saying we will have them in oh, one book. Wow. That's why he's saying it's not. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. What an amazing message. You can tell indeed Ahmed Adi that is really very intelligent. And I really enjoyed everything he was saying from the beginning of the video down through to the end of the video. Believe me, this 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 is really very educative. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there's one thing that is peculiar to both Islam and Christianity and you know that the message of love the message of peace the message of forgiveness and I really uh, I really enjoyed everything he said that the Bible is not the the Bible is not the word of God the Bible is not the word of God I I understand the angle is coming from uh, from what he said he said the Bible is not the word of God because it contains the it contains the word of God, it contains the word of the prophet, okay. and it also contains the word oh, of history. the historian's history. history. Okay. Wow. So that's the reason why he was saying that the Bible is not like it's not like it's exactly saying the Bible does not contain the word of God. He, he, he was actually saying that though the Bible contains the word of God, but it also contained the word of the prophet, it contained the word of historian, and also, I think, pornography. It mentioned, it mentioned pornography, though I don't know where, where it is exactly found in the Bible. I don't know where it is. I didn't that. get that side yeah, of it. Yeah, pornography. yeah, yeah. It said it contained pornography. So, I understand the angle is coming from, though. But I believe the Christians... They do have a reason why all these things are, are in the Bible. Are in the Bible, just like the Quran. Uh -huh. Just, just like the Quran. From what he said, that all these things they are also in the Quran, but they have been kept it's in the separate book. Books. They have been kept in the separate book. They are not exactly in the Quran, but they are been kept in separate book. They also have it in Islam. So I understand that is how it is in Islam, but. The Christians also, they also have their own reason. I believe they have their own reason yeah. why all those things are also kept in the Bible. So I would like to hear your opinion. What do you think about the video? So oh, it was nice. I enjoyed myself also. But I really want to find out the reason why their books are in different angles. Like the books of the prophets is in a different book. The okay. book of history is in a different book. And the book of um, Allah also in a different book. Okay. I wish to know the reason why. Okay. But I enjoyed it. I've learned a lot from this video. Okay. And I hope you've learned too as well. Okay. So you can tell that indeed this is really very educative. I, like I said, I understand the fact that he's saying the Bible is not the word of God, but with the reason he has given, it's not exactly saying that the Bible is not the word of God. What he's just trying to say is that the Bible contains the word of God, the Bible contains the word of the prophet, the Bible okay. contains the word of, I think, historians, and the Bible also contains, I think, pornography. <laughs> so he's actually saying that those things are not supposed to be in the Bible. If the Bible is to be called the word of God. And I think he does have a point there, but... I also disagree to agree one way or the other because I believe though all these things are in the Bible, all these things are kept in one book, but I believe the Christians also have their reasons of keeping yeah. all these things in one book, just as the Islams, or right. the Islams, the Muslims also have their own reason yeah. of keeping this book in separate compartments. Wow. But he can't just say, um, he doesn't know why, he, he can't just say it's not the word of God because like they also have this they don't have they have this in a separate book they have their reasons okay. just they also have our reasons okay so okay so we'd we'll like to hear your comments what do you think uh, what do you think about this message by ahmed adidat the difference between the bible and the quran so don't forget click on the subscribe button click on the like button do have a nice day bye